On August 3rd, the Samoma Foundation ignited a spark in the heart of Newe as scholars, leaders, and visionaries gathered to reshape the future of education for the Igbo people. In a region where knowledge is power and progress is paramount, this lecture series marked a pivotal moment in the quest for excellence. Join us as we delve into the insights, innovations, and inspirations that emerged from the groundbreaking event. The Samoma Foundation is a nonprofit organization dedicated to preserving the legacy and values of the late Major General Samuel Ifanyu Chukumoma, a distinguished retired military officer and former Minister of Science and Technology under General Sani Abasha's administration. Samoma was a passionate advocate for education, knowledge, unity, and humanity. Moma's passion for brotherhood and humanity was nurtured by his diverse upbringing. Born in Kano, northern Nigeria in 1943 to a clergy father, Moma's early life was marked by inclusivity and cultural exchange. Growing up in Mina, Niger State, he attended primary school in the north and secondary school in the west, expanding his perspective. Surrounded by people from various tribes at his father's church, Moma learned to embrace unity and speak multiple Nigerian languages, including Yoruba, Urobo, and Tiv. This cosmopolitan background instilled in him a deep appreciation for human connection and empathy, shaping his remarkable life and legacy. During his re retirement, Moma dedicated himself to sharing his wisdom through writing. He authored an impressive 12 books, with the first two written while still in service. Not driven by commercial gain, Moma's literary endeavors aimed to inspire Nigerians to prioritize knowledge and intellectual pursuits over material wealth. Through his writings, he sought to shift the national focus towards a more enlightened and informed society. For MoMA, reading was a prerequisite for leadership. He firmly believed that the reading was the key to acquiring knowledge, and knowledge was the ultimate source of power. In his view, some leaders lacked the wisdom and insight that comes from reading, leaving them empty and unproductive. In contrast, Reading broadens one's perspective, enabling leaders to make informed decisions and drive meaningful change. Moma's mantra was simple. To lead, one must read. It was in a quest to uphold Moma's ideals and principles that his children took up the task of nation building through the Samoma Foundation. Since the passing on of General Moma, the foundation has established reading and conference centers in places such as Abuja, Enugu, and Lagos. It was also held four lectures series, while the first three lectures were held in Abuja. The latest, which was the fourth annual lecture series, took place at Newe, the hometown of the late general. The 2024 lecture series titled Wither or Wealthier Newe, examining educational advancement in 21st century Newe, was a groundbreaking event that brought together renowned intellectuals. The keynote speaker was the distinguished Dr. Obieze Kwesele, a former Minister of Education, former Vice President of the World Bank, and current Chairperson of Humanities Capital Africa, who shared her expertise and insights on the topic. Dr. Ezekwesele suggested that Newe can achieve global success through partnerships between the community and private sector with education as a foundation. She disagreed with the idea that having money is more important than education, stressing the need for skill-based learning. Dr. Ezekwesele believes Newe has great potential and can be transformed into a world-class city through quality education, 
which is essential for achieving success in wealth creation. Dr. Ezekwesele says technology can help improve education in Newi. She believed in innovation is the Southeast strength and the Newi should use it to join the global market. Finally, she emphasized the importance of good governance, public account accountability and politics in achieving success. She achieved, she urged Newi people to demand leaders with integrity. And I have often said to our continent that if there are significant cuts that hold us down, that the basis upon which we have lagged behind the rest of the world, it is because we have failed to solve the competitiveness and productivity problems. Competitiveness and productivity problems. Uh, we have failed to assemble all the natural possibilities and prospects that we have. And the reason that we have failed is the basis of the focus uh, today. It is education. It is not just education for education, but education in terms of the way it completely and transforms the individual mind of the leadership process so that the coherence that is required in mobilizing the resources that are in the national state into uh, a state where they progressively change society from a weather-free perspective toward a wealthy perspective is uh, really something that we should be glad we're giving our attention to. Especially that we're giving our attention to this in a place, uh, in our own state, in our own uh, region, uh, the southeast, in the country, a place famous for its entrepreneurial strides. And not just for its entrepreneurial strides, but also for being a domain of brilliant minds uh, that we have seen in our society. And so my shout out to the people of uh, Newi. Uh, I, I happen to have been born by parents uh, from Opo, uh, which is the uh, Newi South uh, local government. And um, it always gives me great joy uh, when our people are focusing on the most important priorities. And that's exactly what we have gathered to do here today. I celebrate and say if we uh, uh, if he won, um, uh, me and Quint, who by version of being married to uh, 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 Chief Ben Etiaba underscored the pivotal role of education in wealth creation, emphasizing his indispensable position in modern life. He expressed gratitude to the guest lecturer and the family of General Samoma. Professor Greg Obiamalo highlighted Newi's multifaceted identity beyond wealth creation, stressing the significance of diverse educational aspects. He noted that each field complements the others. Professor Augustine Audley advocated for bridging the education business gap in the Southeast, proposing research endowments as an alternative to traditional infrastructure projects. Professor Elo Amushiaze broadened the conversation scope, emphasizing its relevance to the entire Southeast region beyond Newi. Dr. Eze encouraged young innovators to leverage the new the Newi Incubation Center, reiterating education's fundamental role in life's journey. Anambra State Governor Professor Chukwu Masoludo was represented by Commissioner for Industry. Mr. Christian Udechupu, who highlighted the government's initiatives to support education and wealth creation. Engineer Christ Obiora, transition chairman of Newi North Local Government Area, emphasized the crucial role of education in wealth creation. He made a significant offer to provide land for the Samoma Foundation to build a modern library in Newi, pledging to finalize 
the land allocation within a week. This generous offer was promptly accepted by the family of General Samoma, who announced plans to commence construction of the library as their next project. The lecture series also provided an opportunity for secondary school students in attendance to engage with the speakers, asking questions that received thoughtful responses. And how about what she said? She taught us many things. She said that she showed, she gave us some points about education. Education is the most powerful thing you need to, you need to know. So I want her to like to throw some point to us. Like we are all students here to throw some points to us and tell us more things, a good thing that you need to know and know about education that will, hold, that will hold you enough to be something in life. Notable dignitaries present included Prince Obio Rizu, PhD, Kene Mbaro of Comworld Cinemas, Right Honorable Engineer Chukwudio Rizu, former Deputy Speaker of Anambra State, House of Assembly, and Transition, and Transition Chairman of Newi North Local Government Area, amongst others. When interviewed, Chief Anna Yongwosu, Dr. Emeka Moma, Dr. Ifoma Moma and Dr. Tobe Moma all spoke passionately about the event and expressed the goal behind the Samoma Annual Lecture. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Emeka Moma. Um, the main purpose of the Samoma Annual Lecture is uh, a lecture to gather intellectuals and non-intellectuals, if you per se, to uh, come and have a conversation about relevant issues that pertain to Nigeria. Uh, mostly on the area of knowledge and knowledge acquisition uh, through read, reading of books. Uh, but they say that, so they say that if, uh, if you give a black man a book, he will, he, will never know, he will never know where to go because black people don't read. So we are here to sort of challenge that mystique that um, we don't study, we don't read books and not understand history. So that's the main essence of some Mama Annual Lecture, which is we engage conversations through uh, reading, reading of books and uh, exchange of information. This is uh, the fourth, this is the, going on the third, this is the third actually, uh, so in the fourth year since it's passing. So this is the third uh, Samoma Annual Lecture. And I'm so happy that it's happening in Newi, his, um, his hometown, when he was alive. Again, the essence of the Annual Lecture is to uh, engage in dialogue, you know, exchange information, equip the young people in particular with knowledge that will help them make the right decisions as they grow. Uh, he was an intellectual in many parts. He wrote 12 books. Uh, so the idea is that how do we pass this knowledge that has been gathered through 12 books to a younger generation as they navigate their way in a nation called Nigeria. The future is that uh, it will continue to grow from strength to strength and hopefully we can get uh, equal uh, participation and, uh, from different uh, contributors and donors, like-minded people who share the same vision uh, that uh, indeed uh, Nigeria is a great nation, we are great people, uh, and uh, how do we as Nigerians uh, coexist in a, in a place where we can be uh, a landmark nation for the rest of the world. Well, I mean, most importantly, I would like to uh, uh, congratulate the the uh, CEO and uh, spearheading the direction of uh, Samoa Valley, which is uh, Dr. Tobi Moma, uh, for the resilience to keep uh, 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 stroking the flames uh, in spite of these obvious challenges. 
Uh, we contribute everyone who has gathered and made time to be um, a contributor, either physically or, on, or online, towards the success of this. Uh, many people have stood with this, uh, with this foundation since its inception. Uh, they know themselves and we remain very, very grateful to them. Again, uh, many have contributed their widow's mind, their talents, their skills, and their treasure towards the success of all the annual lectures. So again, uh, kudos to you. Uh, thank you for your uh, contribution. Thank you for your uh, worthy uh, gestures of uh, donation of time, most importantly. And we're, we're very grateful. Okay, my name is Chief Anna Iwosu, Ikenge Zunwebu. Yes, um, this is um, the fourth lecture series in honor of uh, Major General Sam Moma, right? So he's asking uh, whether or whether near we are examining the educational advances in the 21st century in Nairi. So where are, we, where are we today and where are we going in the future? So and um, in an assemblage of uh, professors, intellectuals, you know, to come and actually examine the topic. After the, you know, the lecture, the guest speaker is Dr. Obio Ezekwesli. After that, a group of panelists, professors, right, including uh, um, Chief Ben Itiaba, would examine the issues, matters, you know, raised and uh, we'll be able to co come out with um, a document, right, that will be given to policymakers and all that to see to, to see to its implementation. So I'm happy to be the moderator of today's event. Yes, this is the fourth lecture. This is for the inaugural one was held in Abuja. This is the fourth one. Yes, it's, uh, it's, it has provided a, a, you know, um, a place, right, for discussion, eh? the intellectual masturbation. Uh, so that people would now look at issues and examine that it's for thinkers to come and look at the issues in the society and come out with solutions and other people will contribute, right? So it's like a thinking um, environment, a town hall where issues plaguing the society or uh, how we want the new uh, society to emerge and what does it take to do that. It's not a question of wishes. This is a, a place where only people that know will speak. Right, that people do not know, uh, people that do not know would listen and uh, learn. Yes, um, from what I saw, uh, the children are prepared and the widow to preserve the legacies of their father, who was a gentleman and a soldier that retired as a general, right? So, and a phenomenal um, son of Newe, he was equally a minister, remember, science and technology, right? So uh, they want to, and the man was very sound, he, he, he was an author, he wrote a lot of books, about 12 books, right, about Nigeria, on, on a lot of issues, and some, all, some, all, all, some of his books are on display here. So uh, they want to immortalize him so that he will not die, and um, his ideas will not die, and this is the best thing one can do. So I'm happy that he has, um, he, ha he trained the students very well, and they're all together here to immortalize the legacies of their father. Yes, um, you know, you see, um, go to service, you know, the greater good is um, when people are called to come and share ideas from the wealth of their knowledge, right, to be documented for other people to learn, right, it is the essence of living, and um, the people that are agreed to be here, even on very short notice, especially Professor uh, Greg Ojubiamalo, the former Dean of Faculty of Arts of uh, UNISIC, right, you know, was called upon at the very issue, and he made time to come. So um, we, we, this is what it should be. This was all over the world, and um, we we'll thank them for coming, right? You know, coming to discuss what they know. You know, you see, Chief Ben um, Etiaba coming from Enugu is one of the panelists, and uh, Professor Philly, right? Odili will be here, right? So, and um, we we'll thank them for being here. A lot of people made sacrifices to be here. And uh, it's something that is commendable. I will believe that uh, other people will emulate from them. Tobe Moma. Uh, the Sam Moma Annual Lecture Series discusses <laughs> poignant and pertinent topics for the day in our community. We've had lectures in the past on the economic conundrum in Nigeria. We've had lectures on the judicial system, scarred or sacred. We've had lectures on different topics involving security, the global economy, and today we're talking about a local community my father was part of, which is the Unewi Umudim local government area. The title is called Wither or Wealthier, Unewi, in 2024, examining the educational advancements. 
So the goal for this topic is to see how we can move Unewi forward academically, educationally, and still economically. This lecture started in 2021, and it's been held in Abuja for the last three editions. This is the first one holding outside Abuja. It's been held in Unewi this time, for the very first time. The vision behind the Samoma Foundation is to spur a reading revolution in Nigeria and beyond. Um, we want to educate, Im impact, and inspire a reading culture among our youth. So the annual lecture series galvanizes the best brains together to discuss topics that are maybe at the hot burner issues in our country and dissect them to the point where people can go back and do their own investigation. So the goal is to help spur a reading revolution among our youths in Nigeria. So in the last three years, the Samoma Foundation has built three libraries, one in Abuja, one in Enugu, one in Lagos. The future of the Samoma Annual Lecture Series is to use this forum to inspire students, inspire adults, inspire uh, people who are in the, in the cater of society to come together, see the vision, and help us furnish, equip, and provide more reading rooms. We are hoping to equip a reading room in Kaduna, another one in Uyo, and then finally, maybe one more in Adamawa Yola. So the goal for the Samoma Annual Lecture Series is to gather people together where they can discuss topics that involve things that some Moma were passionate about. Global economics, restructuring, um, ref, uh, the, 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 the new world order, and help in, in, those three, in those three hours of talking, raise funds for some Moma's foundations, reading rooms across the globe. We want to thank Dr. Obiaze Kweseli, who's the guest speaker for today. Also want to thank our governor, uh, Professor Ch uh, Chukuma Soludo, who's represented today by the Commissioner of Industries. We want to thank our Igwe Unewi, who is being represented by his OB. We also want to thank other panelists on the panel, like Chief Ben Etiaba, uh, Professor Augustin Odili, and a few other people who are part of this. In the local community, we want to thank those who have supported us in our environment. People like Sir I.K. Moma, people like uh, Anna Yongosu, those are the local organizing committee who helped to gather, galvanize support. Some of us don't live in Unewi, so we needed the foot soldiers on the ground to help us. Without them and our able um, event coordinator, we wouldn't be able to coordinate this program today. My name is Mrs. Ifoma Moma. Well, Having these lectures in memory of my late husband's passing, this is the fourth in the series. Uh, this is the fourth to improve the society, discussing contemporary issues, challenging issues to help improve the society at large. Well, continuous improvements. We keep talking of how to make things better for everybody in our country at large. Uh, in the past. People have been very supportive. I hope today will be like the past. As today's only, we hope it to be as successful as the last three we had. Indeed, the fourth Samoma lecture series would continue to inspire nostalgic feelings among the people of Newi.